I thought this VME bus graphic adapter was worth a video of its own. This Albertiti actually came in one of my recent Mega STE acquisitions. This is the version 1.2, allowing 1024 by 768 in 16 colors. The card was originally designed for the Atari TT, but some software trickery makes it work on the STE. The card is built around a Brook Tree BT454 RAM deck that had great resolution capabilities for the time. The first mention I could find of this RAM deck was a product workbook from 1989, and as per the description, it supports resolutions up to 1600 by 1200. However, the Alberti T resolution is limited by the RAM size, a few bits short of 400 kilobytes. The first unusual thing about the card is obviously the connectors. First, the interface with the Atari is made through a VME bus, and then the VGA is on that D sub 9 port, not those 15 pin VGA we're used to. I originally thought it was an EGA or CGA pinout, but no, the whole row of four is grounded, so I had to guess. I assumed those three resistors would be the impedance adaption for the three RGB colors, and that the two other pins were the horizontal and vertical sync. I had one chance out of two, and it worked. It was then time to build an ugly but functioning adapter. I salvaged a console port and a VGA port, and wired them accordingly, then used some hot glue to pot them permanently. The result is this compact adapter. The Atari came by default with a serial port that was left flapping in the breeze from the previous owner, so I also mounted it beside the VGA port, as there was an empty slot. It just took some grinding and filing to get a notch for the ribbon. Once in place, I struggled to get anything out of it. Let me tell you, I'm glad it's not as complex nowadays. I finally managed to display the desktop using a software called 1024x768.prg, but as you can see, it would only display the original desktop resolution on the full resolution without scaling or expanding. Only after a while, I realized those two files needed to be placed in the auto folder so they could be loaded before the desktop was generated. From here, most production software were able to benefit from the new high resolution. Cubase was particularly impressive, yet refreshing a bit slower than the monochrome high res with sometimes some artifacts. Overall, a great solution to hook up a modern display. Thanks for watching and see you for the next project! <laughs>